you have names for, for the players or no? Rule of Chaos versus KO Run. What's your name again? Cameron? What is his name? Room of Chaos versus K Run. Street Fighter 5? Street Fighter 5? I just be right back. I gotta play a match in Street Fighter 5. I'll be right back. Order select. We are live here, Buffalo Wild Wings, 47th Street between 7th and 8th in the concrete jungle, New York City, or lovely New York City, however you want to call it. Round one. Is this a match? Yeah, this is a match. So, Room of Chaos with Terry Benimaro and Kim and K-Ron with his team that he just been playing. I actually played Room of Chaos um, in a casual match before the tournament, and he's pretty decent. I, I don't know how much knowledge he has on King of Fighters, but he's pretty knowledgeable with some of his characters. Nice rise attack on Wake Up does not respect the OP. Factual, and I don't know what's the frame gate on Terry, but I know that Burning Knuckle is safe from max distance. And crack shoot, I'm not sure if it's safe, but I was trying to punish it. Maybe I was trying to punish it wrong, but no bueno for me. K1 dropping a little bit of those day one combos. And Yuri's uh, CD is really, really good. It has like a shut box. Terry and Maximo, very good character. Multi-hitting ground fireball, so it doesn't clash with normal projectiles. Safe burning knuckle, very fast startup. EX burning knuckle. And no, it looks like that is not safe. All right, K-Ron with those king combos. Doesn't have another meter to continue. I, actually, I don't think you can't continue because he's in the air. He has to use the other super to continue, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, amazing! Player two wins! K-Ron with the king kill. And now we have Benny Morrow versus King. And that's the thing with the beginning of these games, you start to, as players and commentators learn the matchup. Oh no, supers have very little invincibility in this game. Little to none. You have to really time your supers well depending on which one you use. Benny Morrow is trapped in the corner. Double Venom Strike, Power Jumps over, gets the kick combo. Oh! That was a lot of life from full screen. Nice air electric fist. He's trying to maneuver around King's Oni. King only has a pixel left. He chooses to use a max mode to try to get the most out of this. He's getting the most out of it right now. Oh, man, just to get the kill, despite being on a pixel of life left. But we have coming up, Tim Kaplan versus King with no life. A little bit of life now. Actually, if King had meters, he would make this comeback, but he pushed that last meter on the max mode. Yeah, he seemed pretty knowledgeable with him when I did play him in casual. Uses the max mode. He plans to end it now with some chip EX special move, perhaps. Safe invincible special move. No, King is not having it. Oh, King is not having it. Oh, and that was a ground bounce. He could have definitely converted from that. And Robert is looking to get the job done with one stock left close to two. Kim with two stocks left with his own. And half life, I believe. Just about half. 
Robert, a very strong character in this game, as we've seen El Rosa, Ed Rosa, play this character. D throw for the win. Now we got game two. Terry with the burning up from full screen. Rush out, whoa, that was a little bit buggy. This is the command grab on Edie. Yuri with the blowback. Command grab mid screen. Is he gonna go for another one? Get fireball. Back to shoot. Very good move. Ground bounces in the X. Can combo extend the force? Yuri has Terry locked down in the corner. He's not gonna use Rising Back on Wake Up. Terry with some good ground movement, trying to use those projectiles to keep Yuri out. Burn up from that distance, I believe, is safe. Yuri is on the prowl right now. She has to get that life lead back, regardless of whether it's timeout or not. But Terry gets the cross under crouching C. Misses that combo. He could have definitely converted into max mode. And Yuri is on her last thread. Oh, she gets the jump in. But no conversion. But she gets some damage on the table as much as she can before Terry defeats her well with five seconds left on the clock. So he won't be getting that much okay. life back in the second round against King. Round two. Ready? Go! That looked like one of King's projectiles just went straight on up there. Man. Just had to reconfirm that. King has another meter for max mode, and you only gain meter from projectiles on hit or block, not on whip. Smart design choice by KOF. We don't want, you know, any needless projectile zoning, rewarding projectile zoning if you're not actually engaging in combat. Crouching B times two into the kick. Electric combo. Oh, nice small combo. Here we go. He's definitely been in the lap of this one. Not much damage, but he can take what he can get. Oh, more. Max mode again. Doesn't have in the corner, so he gets a better conversion. And Benimaru. Trapped in the corner. And King keeps Benny Marwa in the corner. He could have actually rolled out one of those times he wasn't in box line. Good job on K-Ron for keeping Benny Marwa under that pressure in the corner. Taking out Benny Marwa. Now we are on Kim Cap 1. Room of Chaos' last character. And he has 5 meters, so he can definitely make something happen and then some. King still has no meter. No meter, so Kim can definitely make this kill and still have enough meter to battle Robert with coming in with possibly one stock, but King is building a little bit of meter, throwing these fireballs and getting these straight hits. She's going to get one meter soon, and Kim is actually in a life deficit right now. Misses the confirm, he was too high to convert. All right, here we go, decides to activate Max Ball now. I find that activating max mode raw with 5 meters is definitely better than trying to get the conversion because you can definitely make something happen with a lot of the EX moves being invincible, invincible, having a lot of priority, being safe on blocks, so you can definitely make something happen just activating max mode without getting the confirm. King is in standing C. No, that is definitely a desperation super. That was actually a level 3. 
level two. I'm, I'm sorry, level two. Kim with no bars. And it's not a good look for Room of Chaos. K Ron taking it 2 0 over Room of Chaos. K Ron advances over Coach Steve and Room of Chaos. Both players with a smile on their face.